recognizing that their Kona SUV and i30 models are enduring favorites of the motoring public, Hyundai has modified both in a new high-performance N-Series with a facelift to match. A proud day for brand manager Rachel Lazel. Hi Insiders, welcome to the official media launch of Hyundai's performance vehicles, the i30N and Kona N for the first time in South Africa. The guests are going to be taken through all the technical features inside and out of the vehicle and then they're just going to get to have fun with the vehicle for the rest of the day. A little track experience and then a test drive on the beautiful roads of Cape Town and really experience the power of both vehicles for themselves. Getting behind the wheel to feel this one-two combination power punch were journalists and content creators like Nadia Jafter. So we are going to be testing out the new Hyundai M-Series and we are at the Kilani racetrack right now. It's a bit of a drizzle, but I think it's going to be fun. It was like the weekend on a workday for Rolo Rosé. We are probably some of the first people to experience the car from normal driving, which is family vibe, dropping the kids, to actually seeing what the car can do at a track. It's a full package car, so you don't have to add on all, all the extras, so it's this value for money and, you know, safety features, they're giving it to you in one deal. You listen to the car just idle and being revved up, like the exhaust sounds are so exhilarating. You can hear that the car is going to deliver that amount of power. Holy moly! This was too much fun. <laughs> I love the sound. Yes. That, um, <laughs> that, I don't know, that burning sound. You can hear it when it's crackling, like on three. Crackling. Yes. Yes, that's that the sound. Crackles. Yeah, we really like that. I prefer the i30. Uh, it's because it's a bit lower, the suspension is a bit harder, so it's quite nice on the handling. Otherwise, performance-wise, they're both the same. Being a collector, I've got 28 sports cars. It's one of the cars I would like to have. I'm not a car girl, but I feel like traction control is the word. I felt very safe on the road, you know, secure. It kind of felt like I was playing a video game. <laughs> Handling was beautiful. I'd like to say that the i30N was a little bit more controlled. Obviously, it's not as top heavy as the Kona. Wow! Big boost. The straights were incredible. Let's get that slide. Corners were amazing. Wow, what a car. This is one of my most famous characters. And uh, the i30N is very nice. It's a very good car. It's very fast. You? He's braking, he's turning. Very good car. Wow. <laughs> I can talk about the exterior the whole day, but the interior is insane. I love the fact that as soon as you get into a car, it feels like you were made for the car. You know, the bucket seats just hold you in. The steering wheel, it's like your hands automatically just stick to that. Dog, the interior is so comfy. And then the dashboard, oh my word. And then the bodywork. My goodness, I love this car. I'm gonna buy two in different colors. I like the sky blue and I love the, the white. This is an experience I'll never forget in my whole life. Thank you, on day, Sunday, fun day. As is up. <laughs> the N Series won the World Touring Car Cup twice before racing was stopped the past two years. But enjoying one safely on the open road is definitely allowed. She drives smooth, baby. Very, very smooth drive. I do not mind taking long drives with her. And yes, she is a she. I just decided that. She's powerful and she's smooth, so why not make her? So one of my favorite features about the car is definitely the heated seats. That is definitely a bonus, especially because it gets so cold in Cape Town. I will say though, the nice thing about this car is that there are so many buttons and it can seem quite overwhelming. But if you really look at it, then it's quite simple. I really love it. Ooh, and the seats are nice and warm now. <laughs> to music VJ Tejo Koki, this had number one hit written all over it. First impression of the i30N, getting older now, but I feel really cool. So I could literally see another young guy, I think I'm also young. So I'd definitely be like, you know, it's a race car. That's another thing people need to understand. This is a race car made for like a normal road. I, I own the typically fast car. 
I'm an adrenaline guy, you know, I'm an adrenaline junkie. It feels like I'm already driving my car, you know, I'm getting so used to it, I'm, I'm gonna have a problem. <laughs> By the time we give it back. All the adrenaline had given the touring party an appetite. Among them, Expresso's Tabiso Makubela. One thing about me most people don't know is that I really do love cars. And something about most sports cars that takes away from the comfort of drive. You can't have both with most cars, but I think what Hyundai has been able to do with this one is they've been able to deliver the best of both worlds. And the way this car is able to switch from modes sports to eco to normal drive is so smooth. You can't tell the difference when you press the button, but man! As soon as that part kicks in, which is in less than a second, ah, it goes. It goes. Oh. This event was so cool today. I really enjoyed myself. I love the aesthetic. I love the end look that they're going for. It's very different. It's not what we're used to from Hyundai. And I like the, the, the route that they're going. I'm proud of them. <laughs> this car has made me feel powerful. I'm not really into feminine looking cars. Like sports cars are my thing. Okay, when Hyundai said, let's go, I said, let's go. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part of the day had to be that drive over Franchuk Pass. As good as they are on track, they meant for the road and that is one of the best roads in South Africa. I think the, the motor is a real gem. That two-liter engine pulls so strong. I feel like people are going to struggle to choose between these two cars, but they're priced at exactly the same price point. They're good in their own respective way. And I'm telling you, both of these cars are absolute beasts. But I love both of them. It's been a beautiful day so far, and I feel like the dinner is only going to take it higher. We are so excited to be here wrapping up what was an amazing day launching our new performance vehicles and we really got people to test their full capabilities on the track and really push the car and themselves to the limits and I think everyone loved it. And now we're just here to have some fun. In years to come, these are two cars the motor-loving public are sure to still be celebrating as having stood the test of time. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.